This video is going to be huge. Huge! Like Epcot Center huge. Like Titanic 2, Jack's Revenge huge. I'm still waiting for them to make that movie. All these years, it's been a missed opportunity. Like the ocean, if Pangea ever decided to get back together huge. Like my dick huge. You didn't think I'd miss an opportunity to talk about my dick? The SRX series is in! NASCAR Heat 5! That kind of huge! What's happening, everybody? I am Michael Moots, and welcome back to NASCAR Heat 5! We've got a brand new game mode to play! Man, do I love these mods. My good, good buddy, High TV, along with Scarzy19, decided to take it upon themselves to add the SRX series to the Heat 5! Let's be honest, none of us have been playing the Dirt Series in the Heat 5 for a long time. It's stupid, it's pointless, there are drivers in there that nobody really cares to drive. The only one in there that's actually a driver is Tony the Tiger and his 14 car. Well, what these guys decided to do was make the Dirt Series actually playable again and actually have some names in it that you recognize. So today, I am going to take you through each one of the drivers that have been added in this new mod, and we're gonna race them. We're gonna race them hard. We're gonna beat and bang and, and throw mud balls at each other. Let's quit this bullshit talking and let's get into the mud. Let's get the video started. Let's go. We begin with the Doug Kobe car looking real good with that red, white, and blue camouflage. I'm hoping I'm saying Kobe right. The Deegs, of course, in the pink number one. Look out, Paul Tracy. Redneck Jesus alert. <laughs> Driving the number eight Bud SRX dirt car. We got Redneck Jesus, Jay Earnhardt Jr. Carl's Jr. making the return to racing. You see it, you love it. 99 car, Office Depot. William Clyde. William Clyde. Bernie Francis Jr., my man, he is quick. Ty Gibbs, if he ever decided not to suck on his grandfather's titty and drive something that wasn't a Gibbs equipment. Oh, Jeff Gordon Ramsay, DuPont. I, uh, uh, this, okay, this, get Jeff Gordon Ramsay back of the car. He might have to drop a few LBs in order to fit in that car, but I want to see this car right here. Driving the Jim Beam number seven, it's Robbie Gordon. Anyone down for some candy canes in July? I say that because, well, SRX is a summer thing. It's, it's February when I'm recording this, though. <laughs> Tony Kanan, of course, in the 48. Can and he's sponsored by DeWalt. That means everything's right in the world. Will be! And your NASCAR Sprint Cup Series champion, Lala. This is what everybody wants to see. Everybody wants some Jeremy Mayflower back behind the wheel of a competitive shits battling it out for wins. Ray Evernham, squash your beef and get it going. Pastrami with some more of that camouflage. Willie T-Rims is sponsored by Fram. Joey Saldana, I, I like, this is a good looking ski. Donnie Shots, dirt racing extraordinaire. Oh, you know I love me some Kenny. Scott Speedless was driving like a fucking maniac in last season of SRX. I only hope that continues into season two. Of course, we got the kingpin over here, Tony the Tiger in the shit. Well, Tracy, look out. It's an incoming digging. Oh my God. Damn, Kenny Wallace being sponsored by the Square D, throwing it back to when he pushed Dale Sr. God to his final win at Talladega. Mikey, we share a name. Marcus Ambrose was Marcos Polo, but now we got Marco Polo, like the actual legitimate Polo. I'll have one Doritos Locos Taco, please. So we can drive us the booth. I'm gonna have to come up with all these new nicknames now. Chef Boy RD is sponsored by Jack Daniels. He's driving the 07. That brings me back to my youth. Brisk Ice Tea. And Elio's Pizza rounding out the grid in the number three Good Sam SRX. Well, I'm gonna take this car. I have to take this car because this car is spitting flames. I'm gonna take Jeff Gordon Ramsay. We're gonna go maybe to all the tracks. I don't know if I'm gonna get to all the tracks. We'll see. But I'm gonna start racing around some of these dirty ovals and we're gonna battle it out on the SRX circuit now in the Heat 5. Let's actually get down to racing, baby. Let's go! Jeff Gordon Ramsay Almost here ready. with an actual shot at racing the Dirty Bristol, baby. We're starting 23rd. It's all better. We're winning this. We're underway, 
first How race of the bad. SRX, Scott Spainless Moon! Oh, oh, oh my, uh, I can't be like wrecking this thing. Red, that was Redneck Jesus? That was driving into me like that? Who the hell does he think he is? I'm gonna tell Rick to fire you. You're going around, Buster. No, I am. Oh my, what, whoa, whoa. Was that, was that a billion Clyde that I just sent airborne? Oh my God, he's still sitting there. Oh, they're flipping! How, what, how did I live? And how did I only gain like six, seven spots? They're still beating the shit out of them. Oh God! This SRX dirt stuff is ruthless! I decided not to put on cautions, and I'm starting to believe they're just, they're freaking, they're toast. I'm starting to believe that that was a mistake, that this is too dangerous for it, so good. Can someone please go in and check on them? They probably could really use some assisting. They're like old geezers that haven't driven cars in a while. They don't remember what it's oh, like to get hit like that. One of the best parts of the shits for me is that I got Jeff Gordon Ramsay also in my ear, spotting me. Is he driving? Is he spotting? Is he spotting himself? Is he having some sort of inner monologue as he's driving around here? Jeff Gordon Ramsay might be going kind of nuts. This is so freaking badass. Because, like I said at the beginning, none of us care about this dirt series. Like, it was cool at the beginning when it initially started up, what, in like Heat 3, I believe, is the first year with the dirt cars. Then it just like died. The novelty value of it died, the excitement. It, it really just sucked. You didn't want any part of this in your career mode. You just skipped that shit and went to trucks. Well now, there's a reason to do it. You got a bunch of recognizable names in here and a bunch of awesome paint schemes that make this so much more playable. Jeff Gordon Ramsay, obviously a little bit rusty, and we're only able to muster up a top 15. But, you know, the, the Bristol, the dirty Bristol, isn't one of my better tracks when it comes to the dirt stuff. So we're gonna go somewhere else a little bit better now. What the fuck did I hit? If that wasn't enough to get your heart thumping, well, shit, man, I don't know what else to tell you. We're at Drebin. This is my favorite track on the Dirt Series schedule because you can do stuff like that. And we're like five, four, five wide right now. I love this place. We might actually have a shot to win this one. Get it down on in there. Get it down on in La la. La la. Freaking dirt racing extraordinaire. But he ain't shit when I'm out here. Redneck Jesus. We made it up to second, but our enemy from the first go around at the Bristol has driven the hell off with it. Can I run him down? Oh, he went way wide. He went way wide, almost jumping that cushion. But I don't really feel like I gave too much on him. Maybe I'm getting closer. I'm not sure. What's so perfect about this too is these cars kind of do resemble the SRX cars a little bit. Like the tail end of them, is it the same at all? We're getting there. The front half, it's kind of shaped the same way. And give me some, yeah! Oh, oh, we're so close. I'm gonna drive off with it, bitch. Like you put the two cars side by side and there aren't a ton of differences. So the paint schemes, they work. I can't tell you how much I love those guys. High TV, Scarzy putting this together, making this mod happen, and making the dirt cars relevant. I absolutely love this. Oh. This would have been something you would have expected from the actual game developers. And they're just like, they do this in their spare time. They do it because they enjoy it and they want to see a cool game. And I absolutely love them for it. They do amazing work. This is so cool. What the hell is this? He's coming back. Oh, he's driving into me. He using me up. Oh, I ain't putting up with that shit, redneck Jesus. Hell no, nah, bitch. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 what? No. I was so scared. I thought I thought I just had pissed it away. Start. We're burning this thing down. Give me some of that. Give me some of that. Look at that car. Can't even like ready, put it into words. Ready. Just internally how yeah, jazzed go. up I am and how excited I am. This is all stuff. We're finally getting a game that we should have had a long 
time ago. This is all stuff. Watch it, Kenny. The game developers should have been doing all along. We finally are getting this, and I absolutely love it. I couldn't really see where the where are the cars. There's so much dirt being thrown up. It excites me so much that we have this to play and to enjoy. And yeah, for this series in particular, High TV, Scarzy, thank you. Just thank you. And if you download this and are enjoying it as well, go on down to the comments and let them know you appreciate it. I'm getting the shit knocked out of me right now. Both. I've, I've been hit way too many times, and I'm not taking any more shit, so you're just going to have to take it from me now. This has got to be one of my least favorite tracks. It's definitely near the bottom. I think there are nine tracks in the dirt stuff on here, and this dirty Richmond, this place sucks. The AI is pretty OP, and yeah, I'm passing people right now, now that things have calmed down a bit. But I ain't winning. I ain't getting up to the front and winning this. What the hell was that for? Oh, 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 oh. We held on to it, but now I'm back here again. I was finally making up some fucking ground. I was talking to High TV about this, and I'm not sure. You guys got to let me know if you would be interested, interested in me doing a career mode. Now that all these updates are coming through, and now that this Dirt series isn't a big Steven pile of shit, would you like to see me do something like that? From what I read in the mod notes, they've also modded the career. And like, the car that you personally are driving in it. So, the SRX goes over to that too. So it would be SRX, Trucks, Xfinity, and then Cup. And Trucks, Xfinity, and Cup now all have the 2021 cars. So I think this could be actually pretty interesting if I did a career. Move it, kids! This is Bristol. Nah, it's not Bristol. But I'm going to treat it like Bristol. I'm going to climb out of my car with my helmet on. I'm going to beat the shit out of you in a minute if you don't give me this 13th. I'm going to beat the shit out of you with my helmet on. Let me know in the comments. Leave a like on the shits if you would like to see career mode come back with the Heat 5. Honestly, I can't believe how good of a time I'm having and how excited I am to be running the dirt shits again. Probably haven't been this amped up to do it since it first dropped. It, he, I think it was Heat 3. I remember then being, whoa, Elio's Pizza, get the fuck out of here. I am getting slammed. Watch it, watch it, yeah, there, yeah, ah, 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 ah. we're okay. You ain't turning me. And now I'm doing the slam. There in the beginning, when, when the dirt things, right, they just began, I was really amped up. But go. then it was kind of like NASCAR ignition, right, where it's like the excitement factor, it died off pretty quick. It just, it kind of became stupid right, after a while. I feel like what it was always missing, and what's changed it so much for me here today, is recognizable names. That's why no one cared about it, I think. It's because there were all drivers in there that they weren't actual drivers. Having guys like Wabubi in here and Redneck Jesus and Carl's Jr. recognizable names, it adds to the fun factor. And now that I'm actually invested, I'm realizing that this is kind of difficult. I won the one race, but the other now three, I'm not really contending for any trophies. Boob, I'm, I'm seriously, right, I've had enough of you. And I found out it was the boob that went flying at Bristol in that first race. It was not Billy and Clyde. So Billy and Clyde, P.I., but the boob, maybe that's why he's acting a little bitchy, because he did get flipped on the side of his shit. I'm trying really hard to figure out how to be consistent with this. It's not easy. This car, it, there's not a lot of consistency to it. It slides when it wants to slide, and there ain't shit you can do about it. We got a top five. Can I get... Give it to it! Oh my god, I clipped his butt cheek the littlest amount! Second favorite track of the shits. It almost wanted to crash itself right there. But we're at Texas! I like the tracks where I can just send it real, real deep. And park my shit, and they can't really find a way around me. Hey! Oh my God! This guy will not stop. Redneck! 
Redneck Jesus. Redneck Jesus is probably going to piss some people off for that. But clear. All right, you're clear. I don't give a fuck. I've had enough. Look at how far. I think that's the boom. The I think. Now. No! No! Tony Kanan, thank you so much. He pointed me back in the right direction, but we don't got the time to make up all these ground. I'm so goddamn sick. Oh, of course it's Redneck Jesus down on the... He's like ultra aggressive in this. I know the guys modified the driver rating, so maybe they made Redneck Jesus extra douchey. This is ridiculous. I can't get my head above fucking water. That sucks. Was feeling like we were gonna have ourselves a good, good run. Was feeling like I could be quick because I do enjoy this track a lot. But no, these guys are roughing me up like a fucking tumbleweed. Getting back to them, but man, it ain't enough. And the booth just took the lead. I can see it on the mini map. There seems to be actually some competition up at the front. There's a lot of racing going on. And I really like it. Even though I'm sucking hind quarters right now, I'm thinking this could be my favorite mod yet of the NASCAR E5. I'm gonna be playing this an awful lot. Where the fuck were you off to? The boot left me at the line! I don't know if Texas is one of my favorites anymore. Final race I'm going to do. And of course, I couldn't do dirt at E5 without a trip to this idiotic track. Jefferson, baby, let's get it! I hope I don't end up in one of those silos over there by races end. Redneck Jesus, I am keeping my distance from you because man, you've been driving me like a straight cucumber all video long. I'm so sorry, Mikey. They're wrecking, they're still wrecking. I think Kenny went around back there. Four laps, wanna find my way to the front. I've got to find my way to the front. I want another win. If I could wreck you, I so freaking would. Wow, what's good about this track is how big it is. And in the corners, there are a lot of corners where you can make up a ton of time on the AIs. Don't be, the Tony Kanan, don't be doing that. What the hell? Oh, they're wrecked. I think Tony Kanan wrecked. He felt so bad about getting into me. He freaking nuked himself. We still have plenty of time to get up to that front and win this. What the hell keeps going on? They keep, they keep wrecking themselves. No, 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 no. Oh, we. I, it, to let you know, I did get into the back of him a little bit, and that's why he spun. I haven't done this in a long time, so I kind of forget how to drive these places. We're down by 10 seconds? What the fuck? That shit ain't good, but what is good is this leaderboard. I like seeing those names up there. I know a ton of you are going to be loving that Mayfield is in this. I love it, too. I'm making up no time at all. I'm trying, and I feel like I'm actually doing quite well and managing this track all right but i am gaining nothing we've only got one lap and there's no way in hell i'll make it up 10 seconds but i might might be able to get mayflower over here you got to get off the track christopher columbus needs to sail you getting closer i'm getting closer and he's got that mobile one scheme too like, I love that some of the sponsors, the sponsors you think of, I'm taking this when you think of these drivers. It's so cool. It is so stinking cool. Great freaking job, guys. G fucking G. I can't wait to play it again. I really think I might have to start up a career mode now. That was just great. I, there's like nothing else I could say. That was great. That made it so much more fun. And I really want to play it again. Let me know what you guys think if I should start up a career. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it. I love ah, ah, every single last one of you. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!